Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man. Um, if there's anybody that needs a PR person, I think it's Anthony Joshua. Because Anthony Joshua says some things that just make you go, wow. And I hate to say this about Anthony Joshua, but Anthony Joshua is really starting to come across as an unlikable person as a snooty uppity ass whatever you want to call him you know because some of the comments he's recently made just had you scratching your head and shaking your head and you just asking the question like what's wrong with this dude I remember a while back blood boxing said that he think Anthony Joshua might be a little slow and I'm starting to think that also because he recently gave a explanation why he won't be watching the fight, and I'm telling you, it just sounds horrible. He said, well, one of the reasons is he's, he'll be asleep because of the time difference, I guess. It's going to come on too late for him, whatever the case may be, because keep in mind, it's like a seven-hour time difference between you know the west coast and the uk i think it's a seven hour time difference don't quote me because i've never been to the uk i think it's at least a seven hour time difference so i i'm guessing that it'll be like two o'clock in the morning out there if it start if the event starts at seven or six or whatever i mean come on man you can't stay up till one o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning and watch a fight then he says that he's not gonna watch the fight he said he's a millennial and all that type of shit so basically that's too too late for him or some shit like i mean you know that they you, you know that they want to watch highlights and all that type of shit and that's the reason why he's not coming and all that type of shit that don't make no kind of sense because i done seen anthony joshua at other people's fights so that's not making any kind of sense you saying you want to fight this dude next but you ain't scouting the dude you ain't watching footage of the dude that's just basically telling me that anthony joshua don't want to fight you know i i didn't went back and forth on whose fault it is that this fight hasn't happened between him and deontay wilder you know some people think it's Eddie Hearn that Eddie Joshua wants to fight, but Eddie Hearn doesn't want to fight. Then some people think um, it's the other way around. To me, it looks like to me the person that's holding up this fight from happening to me is Anthony Joshua. I just think he does not want to fight Deontay Wilder. Now, this is what I don't understand. And then you get the UK fans try to defend him and try to say he the A-side, and he ain't no fucking A-side. You not the A-side until you do big pay-per-view numbers in the US. It's not about the UK. You know, I don't care about the UK, and I'm just being honest. I don't mean as if um, I don't care what happens to some of our brothers and sisters in the UK. I don't mean it like that, but I don't care about the numbers he's doing in the UK because his numbers are misleading. And that's just the bottom line. His numbers are very misleading. Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn have contradicted themselves just tremendously throughout the last six months, even pertaining to this fight. Anthony Joshua is the one that's on tape saying, hey, give me $50 million, we'll make the fight. And then when he's offered the $50 million, he turns right back around and say, oh, I'm not going to sell my belt. Well, wait a minute, man. Isn't that what you asked for? You act, you could have made anywhere from $50 to $100 million in two fight, fights with Deontay Wilder, depending on if you wanted a second fight. So basically, you could have made anywhere from 50 50 to possibly a hundred million dollars max in two fights instead of signing a so-called multi-fight deal with the zone and eddie hearn that's supposed to pay you a hundred million dollars allegedly and i'm just keeping it 100 once you once you pulled that shit it was it was a wrap 
and you had AJ fans trying to clean it up that just refuse to accept the truth that AJ just doesn't want to fight Deontay Wilder for whatever reason you think it may be. Whether you think it's fear, whether you think it's, you know, he's not ready, whatever the case may be, it just looking more and more that AJ is the reason this fight isn't happening because he just doesn't want to fight Deontay Wilder. How the fuck you going to say you want to fight somebody, but you don't want to watch footage of them? You don't want to come watch the dude fight. So you're not making no kind of sense saying, oh, I'm going to just watch the highlights. That's complete bullshit. You guys got to understand something. I'm a, I, I do media. I didn't went to these fights. I didn't went to these gyms. And I'm going to tell y'all something. This is this is real talk. And I know some, some fighters going to be mad at me when I say this, which I don't care. When a lot of these fighters say, oh, I don't look at film of fighters, you know, I just handle my business in the ring. That's a lie. That's a complete fucking lie. Okay. All fighters watch footage of their opponents from pre previous fights. I know it sounds good to make it look like these dudes is, is that good and they big enough they self and they basically trying to sell this image to the fans of how good they is but i'm gonna tell you right now all fighters watch footage of upcoming opponents unless they fight the nobody and they can't find footage of them but quiet is kept you could always find some kind of footage of an opponent okay so i'm just i'm just keeping it 100 so this is why i know that anthony joshua is full of shit and that he really don't want this fight I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not, like I said, I'm different from a lot of these uh, people that come on these YouTube channels. I don't play that shit with UK fans coming on my channel talking shit and talking crazy. Because like I said, you say something crazy to me, I'm going to say something crazy back. And it's going to be two times worse than what you're going to say to me. Like I said before, you better watch it when you bring your ass on my channel. Say what you got to say. Say you disagree and explain why and then get the fuck out of here. Don't say nothing disrespectful because if you do, I'm a man. I'm a roast your ass. Okay? But I'm just telling the truth, you guys. I'm just, I, I mean, in a court of opinion, it just looking like it's just AJ. It, it, it just looked like it's him. And it seemed like it's always been him. Not that I'm, uh, you know, like letting, you know, Eddie Hearn off the hook. Because Eddie Hearn is full of shit, too. But it's just looking more and more every day that it's Anthony Joshua who doesn't want the fight. He already talking about who he going to fight if he can't get Wilder. He really don't want Wilder. Okay, you didn't took polls. Wilder won the polls. Oh, well, who do you want to... Okay, his fans say, you should fight Wilder. Then all of a sudden, he like, oh, well, if we can't get a deal done by December the 1st, oh, like, dude, come on, man. The man got his hands tied with Tyson Fury. He need to worry about Tyson Fury. But like I said, man, AJ just all talk, man. And like I said, the only reason why he talking now is because people start to see what it is with him, man. That this dude is 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 just behaving like a coward. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that, man. I'm out.